Welcome to Where It's At. I'm Fred Latrimo, sounding a little differently because I have laryngitis, so I'll speak quietly and you listen intently. Some of the shots you saw while the Wiggy Symphony were playing music from the Smash Musical Hair were our Alder Grove Beach Rock Festival, which attracted some 27,000 people out to frolic in the sun. And this is our last show today, so we're going to be uh, talking about some new things, but also going back and having a look at some of the old things. <laughs> Uh, that's your latest release, right? Right. The Wiggy Symphony. It's called Baby Says. And so rush on and buy it on Portage of Maine record store there. Uh, by the way, today is Friday, as you know, and it's June 20th, 1969. And it's an important date for us because it's our last show. Uh, you know, we're sad about it and glad about it in many ways because we've accomplished a lot. We'll tell you a bit about that. On Friday, July 17th in 1964, we did our first program. It was called Music Hop, remember? And I opened that show and, and I'm closing this one. And in the span, we've had eight other hosts, including Red Robinson, Howie Vickers, and many, many people. But whoever the host and whatever the title of the show, we've had certain constant aims since we started. And one of them was, and still is, on this show to bring you new talent. And uh, I couldn't tell you how many people we brought you in five years. I can make a guess. But I do know that since January of 1967, we brought 87 people uh, into your living room, new people or new groups. And that's a lot of folks, and we're kind of proud of that. Many of these people have gone on to bigger success in various areas of show business. To try to tell you where they all are now would be very difficult, and I won't try. But see these guys here? Remember them? They're the classics. Well, some of them went on to uh, a group called The Collectors, who are one of the biggest groups in Canada, and have been commissioned to uh, play our music at our pavilion in Osaka at Expo. And they're a good group, and you'll be hearing more about The Collectors. These are some of the other people. In five years, our, our music scene has gone through some major changes, too. For instance, Music Hop was a rock and roll show. And where it's at, as it's happening and has been happening, is a pop music show. We've tried to keep on top of it to reflect the pop scene as it's happening here on the West Coast. 
and we've presented the songs that are hits here, when they were hits here. We've presented the music of our local underground. But as well as music, we've tried to present information, information about the people and about the business. And to do that, we went out and asked the people who knew best, and that, I think, was one of the most popular features of our show. Since 1968, we've interviewed 98 top performers, and we've done music specials. There's me and Spencer Davis with uh, the Collectors, Three's a Crowd, the New Vaudeville Band, the Monkees, and one of the ones I enjoyed most was Little Richard. But the one that got the biggest response and critical acclaim was, of course, the special featuring Eric Burden and the Animals. It was a good show. And uh, we've done specials that have examined styles of music, like the one hour Where It's At, featuring Lulu and guest groups. And uh, we've done music that represent current phases of pop music. As I said, we've tried to show you the pop scene as, uh, as we've seen it here on the West Coast, and, and that's pretty much how it's been happening all over. And thank you very, very much for your response. We've had literally thousands of letters since the first show went on. And we've done good shows, we've done mediocre shows, we've done bad shows. But as long as you're batting about 300, we've been quite happy, and I think we've done that. However, things have changed, and it's moving on into different areas. Thank you for all your response, and thank you very much for watching. And now let's get back to really where it's at, music. The Wiggy Symphony. who is uh, credited with taking the country out of the barn and putting it in the living room. Well, so it's said anyway. And that, uh, those shots of Glenn were taken out at the Coliseum where Terry David Mulligan, who is now in Toronto, hello Terry, and love to you and, your, and Carol <laughs> back there, uh, asked Glenn how he was enjoying the country revival and how the success affected him. <laughs> 